Hi guys, hello and welcome back to another retro feature right here on the channel. Okay, so for this month's one, I want to introduce to you the little Nintendo Classic machine. Okay, this is a fantastic little machine. Um, like a couple of others I've reviewed before, um, it is HDMI, so it basically goes straight through into the back of your TV. Um, modern TV, retro gaming, Nintendo, 30 games on board, what else do you want? You know? So, without further ado, here's the little machine itself. To show you in comparison, there's my hand and there's the machine. So you can see how small this thing really is. It's probably about 6 inches wide by about 4 inches deep and about 2 inches width. Okay, so it's a perfect replica, albeit in mini form, of the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES, which was circa 86 to 88, uh, depending on where you are. Um, i.e. North America, um, Japan, or indeed Europe, the United Kingdom included there. Okay, so as you can see, it's got a little Nintendo flap. This does not lift up, it's just a little feature. Uh, and then we have our two buttons on the front. We have the power, which is on and off, and the reset, which takes you back to the reset mode to pick another game out. Okay, and we have the two controller ports, okay. Of note, you only actually get one controller with this, but you can buy another controller separately for those two-player games. Um, I'm really selfish when it comes to retro gaming. I enjoy playing, enjoy just playing the games on my own and stuff, but, you know, for you folks who want to play something like um, Tecmo Bowl or something like that, you know, that involves a couple of controllers, hey, go out, pay a couple of bob more, and uh, get the other controller, okay. So there's a side on profile, nothing exciting guys. We can see on top the little um, Nintendo grooves. There's the other side on. Um, and then the back we simply have, which is probably common for these machines now, the HDMI socket and the power. These things are your usual USB, so you plug it into the back and then plug it into the um, little plug off your phone charger, whack it in the wall, turn it on, boom, retro gaming, goodness right there. So, <clears throat> I want to show you the controller. So, it's the little port there, which obviously snaps into place into the machine. And here, guys, we have a perfect replica of that lovely Nintendo Entertainment System NES controller. So, we have our usual 8-bit, 8-way um, D-pad. We have the A button and the B button. We have Select and we have Start. And this feels really good and really responsive. So responsive as in you can actually sense it if you're moving you know it seems to be perfect the buttons are just a tad slower um, as you press it to the reaction something like uh, a donkey kong you'll tap it to jump and it'll just be a split second but you will notice it but that to me um having owned the original machine back in the day is a nice little feature you know i don't want razor sharp buttons when i'm playing a retro system i want that real retro feel okay so the other things that come in a box are the power lead which I just explained there, into the back of the machine, into your phone charger, plug in the wall, on you go. And what we all know by now, the usual HDMI lead. Uh, and it's long enough, it must be about three, four feet long. Uh, also of interest, you can buy a longer one again, about, I think it's about, oh god, about a three metre one on Amazon if your television is further away from your couch. Uh, I tend to play this on a, um, on a portable a flat screen TV of about sort of 16 to 18 inches just to get that retro feel you know back in the day we had like an old portable TV we didn't have like you know great big 50 80 inch TVs or you know whatever 4k any of that stuff um, okay and the list of games that this little thing uh, has on board um, there's 30 in total so I'm just going to read them off my list and as you'll see if you're even a remote retro fan or definitely a Nintendo fan you'll love this list um, I don't think they've left anything major off. However, if there's a game that's left off this list that you guys really would have liked to have seen on the machine, do the usual, guys. Leave me one below. Okay, so, in no particular order, 30 titles on board. Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. 3, Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong, Metroid, Kirby's Adventure, Super Mario Bros. 2, Dr. Mario, Punch-Out!, Balloon Fight, Donkey Kong Jr., Zelda 2, Excite Bike, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Mario Brothers, Star Tropics, Bubble Bobble, Final Fantasy, Gradius, Pac-Man, Castlevania, Galaga, Mega Man 2, Super C, which is Contra, uh, Castlevania 2, Ghosts and Goblins, Ninja Gaiden, 
Tecma Bowl, whoo, and Double Dragon 2. So, as you can see, guys, by the little list there, that's quite uh, quite a few titles or something there for everyone, you know. Um, <clears throat> of, if I had to pick a little hole, maybe it'd be there's more... Um, there's like a load of like the Namco stuff which is fantastic and some of your more classic stuff, everyone loves a Mario. Uh, there's only like one sports title on there which is Tecmo Bowl and as big as that was and as great as that is, it might have been nice to have seen something like a Nintendo World Cup on there, maybe, but you know, I'm, that's a tiny, tiny little um, hole as I'm a big, big sports fan. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, at the end of the video, in a few seconds, um, I've put a little montage of all the games on here. So you can have a quick look, quick idea, and hopefully refresh some of those uh, you know, retro memories for you. Alright guys, so listen, if you're new here, and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button, like, share, and leave a comment. You returning guys, much love and respect as always. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next month for another retro feature.